day 349. <clears throat> Interesting start to the day. Usual wake up, walk the pup. Wasn't quite sunny out, but it was a little bit chilly. And met up with a running group at the juice store. Ran with my buddy Gordon. When we got there, we both were just kind of sitting there, just kind of like, oh my gosh, it's chillier than we remember. And I mean, yesterday was 80. And so I was thinking this morning, if it was 80, it's got to be at least a little warmer in the morning. Not the case. Not the case at all. And I'm glad I wore a long sleeve shirt because my hands were chilly. Even for the first two miles, I had my hands kind of tucked in the long sleeve shirt. But after about 15 minutes, it warmed up. And then even I think halfway back, I rolled up the sleeves. It was just getting a little bit, not warm, but it was just nice. But <laughs> got there, there was only four of us. I think it was Kurt, I think was his name. Uh, I don't remember the other person's name that was there. We briefly met and I didn't see him on the way back. And it was Gordon and myself, so just four of us. And I guess there's usually about 10 or 12. The, uh, there's probably six or seven of them that were at the marathon today. <clears throat> so I don't know if anyone else was regularly there. They just skip out on this random day or because there's a race. I don't know. Anyways, the plan was run with Gordon, and so I got there, and it was fine. We, I, he said, we had talked and said, how are you feeling? Like, good, doing all right. What, what do you want to run, like 10 to 12 miles? He's like, yeah, sure, we, we'll go off field and go do for that. And so we're going, and let's see. Got the list here. And we did 13. So it's been the longest run I've had. Probably 12, 15, 16 months at least, if not longer. I started out at 732, 7.30, 7.30, 7.27, 7.21, 7.21, 7.23, 7.13, 7.17, 7.18, 7.19, 7.14, 7 that was mile 10, 11, mile 11 was 7.26, and mile 12, 7.07, and the last mile was 6.25, and we were just chatting the whole time, well not the whole time, probably about half the time we were out there chatting, but we hit the canal and just went straight down, got around to the mall, and he's like, you know, if we do a loop around the mall, it'll put us right at 13. I was like, well, I'm feeling good. If you're up for it, let's do it. So we go, do the loop, come back, same way back. And he's like, hey, you know what? If we want, we can take this way where it splits and take a different round. I was like, no, nah, I want to go this way just in case my stomach decides it has to use the restroom. I was like, all right, good point. Let's go. So we went back and we were passing. I was like, hey, do you got to stop? He's like, no, I'm good. I'm like, all right, great. I'm feeling good too. Let's roll. So we kept going and made it back and it felt shorter, which was great. And we both discussed that the out and backs are a fun way to help break up the time. And on the way back, it always feels a little bit quicker or a little bit shorter just because the mind knows where you're going. Whereas on the way out, you're kind of guessing, even if you ran it before, it always feels like your, your mind's can't quite imagine where that turnaround is or how far it is or how you're going to feel when you get over there. But once you're on the way back, you can assess, okay, I have this much fitness, this much hydration. We've already covered these miles. I know what I'm looking for. And you go off that. So it usually feels shorter. But we were going and obviously those last two miles we picked it up. But about the last mile... We had took a, taken a turn to get back on the sidewalk from the canal. And without saying anything, he just doot, 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 had like a small move. And he wasn't trying to, to throw me off or anything. He just was feeling good and would 
he wanted to close out, and so I picked it up with him. Got about halfway there, and it's about maybe three quarters of a mile until we get back, as soon as we turn off the canal. So approximately point three five three eight there. And he picks it up again, like, all right, let's go again. <laughs> and so we pick it up, get to the parking lot, and he said, let's do a little loop, loop around the building. That'll put us right at 13, because right now we're at 12 point, 12.83, something like that. And he said, we might as well finish 13. There's no way to stop now. So we do the loop, and mine was a little bit short. I had stopped my watch a little bit more than he did. So I had to add on, it was a 0.06, which was fine. Then we got back, talked a bit with Kurt, and we're talking about pace. He's like, yeah, you guys look good. How far did you go? 10? Like, no, we, we went full 13. <laughs> so it felt great to run with them. It felt great to stay relaxed. It felt great to feel that strong, especially after last week having three days off. It's just a good feeling. Good feeling to have that long run in and made the rest of the day feel great. I just felt a little bit tired. And the original plan was to go run early on our own and then go meet up with the group to have breakfast or brunch. And he's like, great, I'll text you. When I head over, I'll probably go home and eat a light meal. I'm like, okay, same. I'm probably gonna go and have a protein smoothie. So I have some kind of calories in. And I got about half my smoothie in and I just started dozing off and I'd already taken a shower. So I was like, just, Go lay down. So I lay down. Like right as I was laying down, they text and said, "Hey, we're gonna go get lunch." And I was like, "I'm, I'm already done. I'm, I'm gonna take my nap." I took my nap. Called my dad. He was, said he was coming in town. So the plan was to meet up. Sometimes we meet up for lunch. Sometimes we meet up for dinner. And I was just asking him, "Hey, dad, you know, I kind of have plans with a friend. Are you?" Do you know about when you're going to get into town? And he's like, oh, shoot, you know, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of taking my time, but I don't think I'm going to get there until about 6 or 5 or 6. And I'm going to take my time on the other side of town. Say, hey, don't, don't feel like I'm rushing you. When you take your time, I was just trying to get an idea. My friend had a free day, so we could hang out and get lunch or get dinner. It's up to you. And he's like, oh, don't worry about it. Just go hang out with your friend. So, Dad wasn't, he made it, just wasn't able to meet up with them, so I met up with my friend, we went and got pizza, and then we wanted to check out a movie, so we saw the new Scream movie, which was entertaining, the pizza was really good, I can't remember the, uh, the pizza name, the company, I, I'm not sure if they're local, or they are a bigger chain, but I could possibly look it up real quick. Okay. Wrong side of town, not even the right state. Here we go. Let's see here. Come on, just, just load, just load. Okay. Why can't I find Pomo Pizza? Pomo Pizzeria, that's where we went. It was a little bit pricier. I figured go out for kind of the Valentine's weekend. So we got pizza, which the only thing with bad was it was just so small. <laughs> I feel like I could have eaten a large pizza and been fine, especially after the long run. And then we got eggplant as well a parmesan eggplant and that was really good just smaller serving i would have liked 
I still feel hungry right now, even though it's 1.45. I feel like I shouldn't eat any more food, should go to bed. <clears throat> but after that, yeah, we checked out the movie. The movie was fine. A lot of action, a lot of story kind of built. A little bit of story built from the other ones, which that was good. Entertaining, for sure. And then afterwards, we're like, yeah, let's call it a night. I'm done. Came back, played with the pup a little bit, had the rest of my smoothie, tried to watch the show, The Love is Blind, I think I finished the last episode, I dozed off earlier today, Got, missed the last few minutes, so I watched that, just telling him to start, just gonna watch another show, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go to bed, so I'm in here, did one set of push-ups, read the book, do one the log, the vlog. So a vlog in a day, so that's done. I feel my brain, my eyes start to drag right now. Try to wake up for a little bit. <laughs> that's it. That was a fairly simple day. The run was a good start. And kind of took it out of me. I wish I had more food ready. But tomorrow's another day. I'm from at... 34 miles, 34.4 miles right now, so I'd like to get in a double tomorrow. I'm going to try to start with 6, around 10 in the morning, and then later in the evening, around 5.30 6, do another 4. That'll put me at 44, so I might try to add in point, point 0.3 on each, 6.3 and 4.3. That'll put me at 45, which is a lot better goal. <sighs> but it's not going to happen if I don't get some rest. So, I'm going to call it a night. Got the pup cam. She's already tired. She's waking up. Sorry, baby. Go back to bed. Call it a night there. Run your life with health and happiness, and have a good night.